I don't own a phone. My phone doesn't have a short camera app. I prefer to make all videos on my computer because it has a large screen. In this video, you'll learn how to make a YouTube short on your PC so you won't have to use a phone. You'll also learn how viewers will find YouTube short and how to make better shorts videos. Step one, shoot your short video in a vertical format. If you're using a phone, make sure you hold it vertically. If you're using a camera like this Canon M50, make sure it's in the vertical position before you hit record. If you're using a long form video that you've already recorded but want to make it into a shorts video, make sure you rescale that horizontal video into a vertical video. Use the aspect ratio 9 by 16 and the dimensions 1920 pixels long by 1080 pixels wide. Click the link in the description to learn how to rescale your video. Your YouTube short can be up to 60 seconds long, so don't make it longer than 60 seconds. Keep in mind that if you upload a YouTube short that you've created elsewhere, make sure the content is not copyright protected and it's suitable for use on YouTube. Step two, edit your video. After you've shot your video, import your video file into your video editing software. I use ScreenFlow, which is a video editor and screen recorder for the Mac, but you can use any video editor. Create a vertical document in your video editing software width 1080 pixels by 1920 pixels high. Import your video onto the timeline. Here's my shorts video. If it's smaller than your document, just rescale it. Make sure the first two seconds really grabs your audience's attention. You can also invite viewers to subscribe by adding a subscribe overlay. I prefer to add the subscribe overlay to the end of the short video. You can also add up to 60 seconds of music to your shorts video by downloading the audio file from YouTube's audio library. After you've finished editing your short video, you're ready to export it. So click export, give it a title, choose the place where you wish to download it. I'm gonna check my downloads, encoding quality, fastest. When you export your video file, make sure you choose the original resolution. So I'm gonna click the drop down, choose 1080 pixels wide by 1920 pixels high, which is 100% of the original. Click export. And here's my shorts video file saved to my download folder. Now I'm ready to upload and optimize my short video for YouTube. Step three, upload and optimize. Most viewers discover your shorts videos while browsing the short shelf using the YouTube app on their phones. Therefore, you wanna upload and optimize your shorts videos so they can be found on YouTube. Later, I'll discuss other places where your shorts videos can be discovered. Long to YouTube channel, click the create link at the top. Click upload videos. Click select files or drag and drop a file to upload. So I'm going to drag this file, how to increase watch time on YouTube in 30 seconds. Now it's uploading. Okay, I've got my title in there ready because that's what I named the file. Add a short description. Make sure you include the hashtag shorts in the description or the title. Here's the thumbnail frame that YouTube chooses from your video to add to the short shelf. Under audience select no, it's not made for kids. No age restriction. Click next. I'm not going to add an end screen or a card. Click next. Under visibility, you can choose private, unlisted, or public. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to choose unlisted, but if you want to make it public, choose public, or you can schedule it. Click save. Step four, publish and promote. After you finish uploading and optimizing YouTube short, promote it on YouTube as well as your social media sites. Click on the short URL, pause the video, then click on share. Now share your shorts video on social media sites by clicking on each of the icons. You can also copy the URL and share it with your email list or post it to your blog. If you want to promote your short video on YouTube, post it to your community tab. Alternatively, create a 15 second clip and post it as a YouTube story. You can also add a short section to YouTube homepage. Simply go to customization in your dashboard, and click add section, select short videos. It says this section will appear after a short video has been uploaded. Here's a short section that I added to my YouTube channel homepage. Where can you find YouTube Shorts? You can find Shorts by tapping on the Shorts icon in the YouTube app. You can also discover Shorts by tapping on the home screen in the YouTube app. After you tap on a Short, you can scroll to see more Shorts videos. You can also find them in your subscriptions feed and on the YouTube section on your channel homepage. Keep in mind that Shorts videos have their own separate viewing experience than regular videos, and once you tap into a Short, you can scroll to view more of them. Why should you make Shorts? Here are three reasons to make shorts. Number one, it's a great way to reach new audiences. For example, mobile users can discover your shorts videos by browsing the short shelf from their mobile phones. YouTube says that YouTube shorts receive 6.5 billion daily views per day. So therefore it's worthwhile trying to expose your content to a different audience. Number two, drive views to your long form content. For example, you can take a 15 to 60 second snippet of your long form video 
then invite people to check out your long video at the end of your short video. This will drive viewers from your short video to your long video. Number three, track your short's performance. If you click on analytics on YouTube Studio and go to the content tab, you'll be able to see all your short's videos. You'll also discover how viewers are finding your short's from external means, YouTube search, suggested videos, or playlists. You'll also be able to see the top short's for your last seven days, 28 days, 90 days, 365 days, or lifetime. If you click on the analytics for any of your individual short's videos, you will see the key moments for audience retention as well as the main traffic sources. For example, this short's video, 85% of viewers are still watching around the 30 second mark. The top traffic sources include external, which is mostly Google search, YouTube search, director unknown, playlists, and other YouTube features. Keep in mind that if you upload a custom thumbnail for YouTube short, it may appear at the top of the page in Google search. What if you wanna make a YouTube short on your phone? Watch this video on the screen right now on how to make a 60 second YouTube shorts video on your phone using the YouTube Shorts camera app.